Hi, today I'm going to show you how that we do Sloppy Joes. Um, we used to always buy the canned Sloppy Joe mix, Melmich or whatever, but sometimes we didn't have the can and then also we wanted to try to make it ourselves so that we wouldn't be eating all that stuff that we don't want. So I found a recipe on allrecipes.com and I'll link that in the description below and um, I'll show you. And I'll also put the, the uh, recipe down below too, but um, of how I do it. I have browned some ground beef. You can use any kind of ground meat you would like. You can use um, turkey, chicken, whatever you want. Here I have onion and bell pepper. And in this, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put the onion and bell pepper in because this is already browned and it's ready for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in, get it started cooking. And in this measuring cup, I have ketchup, mustard, garlic powder, um, brown sugar, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. And um, what I'm going to do is mix it in. Turn my heat down a little bit. But I'm going to mix it into this. And I actually, for my family, I doubled the recipe. The first time we did it, I used the way that it said to do. And um, the sauce wasn't enough for us. Now, I don't double the meat. I just double the sauce. This time, it looks like we got a little bit more meat than what we normally do, but that's okay, too. We got a little bit more sauce, it looks like, too. That's one reason I didn't want to tell you the exact measurements that I have because it may be different from your family. And if I give you the recipe, you can just do however you want. Um, I have added shredded carrots and shredded celery or cut up celery into this. And no one could even tell that it was in there. Nobody cared that it was in there. And it just added a little extra vegetable. You could probably add several different types of vegetables. You could probably add mushrooms or you could add um, just whatever kind of vegetable you would like that you can hide in there and it wouldn't even hurt them. It wouldn't change the flavor. It really wouldn't um, with most things. And what you do is you mix it all together very well and then you let it cook for 30 minutes just like this. That's how simple it was. And I know opening a can is easier, but doing it this way, I know exactly what I put in this pan. And I know exactly what I'm feeding my family. So, whenever it is done, I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're going to eat it. This is what it looks like once it has cooked for a little while. You just really need to let your vegetables get soft and let all the flavors mix together. You can always cut your vegetables up smaller if you're trying to hide them from your children. My children don't care, so it doesn't matter. Um, and this is what it looks like on a bun. My husband and son usually add cheese and mustard so they'll do that whenever they're ready that's not focusing very well let's see there we go anyway that's how we do our sloppy joes and we'll eat them with tater tots french fries potato chips just whatever we decide we want to eat them with and like I said before, I will leave the description, I will leave the recipe in the description below if I can find the link to the website, uh, the actual recipe on the website of all recipes, I will send, um, I'll put that in the description as well. I got this recipe a long time back, so I'm not even sure 
if I can find it. But I am going to look for it for you. And um, so I guess that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see and you want more of this type of thing, just like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I thank you for watching. Bye.